Hi there. So today I was thinking, what would fireflies look like in Houdini? And not necessarily the actual bugs themselves, but just kind of the movement. And here I have a quick demonstration of what I've kind of put together. And if I click play here, you'll see just a bunch of points with kind of a randomized motion, but they have trails as well. But if I move on, say I want to try something else. So for example, here, I've set it up so I can give them a bit more of a trail. So if I click play now, once it gets out of the middle section where they all kind of get out, you can see it's a completely different kind of visual situation going on now. It's really cool. It's a bit like worms though, so it's a bit creepy. But let me step back again. I'll uh, I'll increase the amount of points that's going on by a little bit. When we click play here. Now I just have to wait for it to get out of that ball in the middle and kind of break out a bit. Come on, come on. But I'll just stop it here. See, I really like this shape as well. You can see you've got kind of a, a under a microscope, you could have like a bacteria kind of effect or a cancer cell. Now people often say, oh, you must lay out a perfect goal before you decide or go ahead with what you're doing. But no, you don't actually need to. You can do it the other way. You can just think of a think of a system or just mess around with something, look at your outcome, and then, you know, try and make loads of different things from that. So this, I thought, oh, what if I had points just moving around in a firefly motion? And now I have, you know, five, ten different ways that I could be using this, which is really cool. So experimentation is a lot better than just being, you know, tunnel vision on an idea. So if I then change this one, what's I going to do next? Yeah, if I increase the speed a bit, it's going to be crazy. Turn the points down. Zoom out a bit. So now if I increase the speed, I get a bit more of an erratic thing going on here. Again, looks a bit like worms. <laughs> just, they're not all meant to look like worms. But you can see if you just hone in on a couple of them, get some really random motion going on, which is really funky. That kind of you can just, I guess you have to wait for this to play on a little bit onwards so you can really zoom in and just admire them bit by bit. Kind of cool, we just need a fish tank. <laughs> okay, so now if I, so I've got deviation here, which is how, how much they wiggle around. If I change this to something quite high, which is three in my case, I'm going to turn the points down a bit and slow. Yeah, I'll keep them that speed. I'll turn the trail down just a little bit. So go back to the beginning. Oh, so now we've got a, a lot more of an erratic look going on. So this is cool. Like I was saying, with all the different types of possibilities, this is kind of a, if you were to crank up the count, you could use this as kind of an orb, kind of an energy thing just warping around going crazy. But because there's not, you know, it's not so dense in this example, I don't know, some kind of state, status field maybe. And then if I Turn the deviation right down so I get some really nice smooth motions. Well, so you can see, I guess you could use that as a firework or evolve it, or adapt it into a firework thing. So that, why am I stuck in this camera? Get out. All right, there we go. So the kind of the slower and the less deviated each motion is, it's, it's really pretty to look at. If I turn this down even further so let's have two trails we'll have some really nice slow speed i might need to crank up the uh, point count a bit yeah that's nice let me crank it up let's uh, go semi crazy with the number click play again just let it all explode out into the middle let them all find their motion. And uh, yeah, so that's this, exa this example. It was just, you know, what if you're, I don't know, I was just thinking you're just floating in space with those little creatures and it looks really interesting. Cool. Hope you enjoy it.
Thanks for watching.